I tell you, I've wanted to get footage of a lot of these anti-Israel protests that have been happening this year, but Black Bloc Antifa are usually dispersed throughout them. And those particular types of Antifa like destroying people's equipment, just like they enjoy vandalizing property in general. To them, personal property and private property shouldn't exist at all. So to them, destroying it is actually a good thing. You know, smash capitalism, right? Many of them are communists. Many of them proudly wear the hammer and sickle, you know, like on a patch or on their equipment like their shields or with signs they hold up. And they feel that nobody should be recording any of this stuff except for those who are part of the protests on their side. And if they suspect that you're not, well, they're going to make things really rough for you. Between all the threats they deliver if you don't comply to their every demand, they especially love having a group of them get out their black umbrellas and shove you with those umbrellas towards an area that they desire. And if you resist, they'll claim that you're pushing them and violating their space, even though it's blatantly the other way around. They're really, truly just awful people, in my opinion. I have nothing but disdain for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I just think they're, they're just dumb. I hate fascism and I hate communism. If you hate one, it doesn't mean you have to support the other. That's stupid. That's low IQ thinking, which I think most of these black bloc Antifa types are. And they try to use their positioning and their physical leverage as a replacement for being smart. It's essentially brawn over brains. I think ideologies and cultures that put brawn over brains just suck. They collectively offer nothing of value to society. And I don't care if they think they're doing the right thing. Communism has failed every time it's tried. Equality of outcome policies like the stuff that Kamala pushes, where everyone of all demographics and in all situations are supposed to end up in the same place. Yeah, those kinds of policies eventually end up making everyone equally miserable. All the standards get lowered in most positions, whether in the workforce or the government or really anywhere. It's awful. And in the past, when this stuff got pushed, it actually was about class struggle, which if it was still about actual class struggle, I could probably support it to some degree. I'm a leftist class reductionist. I think if we focus on actual class issues, the demographical issues such as race, gender, and sexual orientation, yeah, those things, those issues revolving around those identity groups will be much easier to, to tackle in some way. They'll be, they'll be much easier to do something constructive about. But right now, everything seems to be about demographical struggle and representation. And class essentially goes on the back burner of things to tackle. To me, merit should be of the utmost importance. It shouldn't be relegated to the bottom of the pile. Yes, nepotism occurs, and we need to find reasonable ways of, of tackling it. DEI and similar techniques are not a good way of handling it. We need to find better ways of holding companies and housing management accountable when they pass by qualified people for being the wrong demographic. And we need to find a reasonable way to stop nepotism. Having said that, I do have this little pocket two camera that I could use to go to some of these protests, and I don't think Antifa would give me a hard time about it. They probably wouldn't suspect that much that I'm not necessarily part of the protest on their side. It's the people with larger cameras that they really care about. They're like a violent form of mall security, but they form mobs at whatever event they happen to be at. You know, if it turns dark, though, this, this little pocket two camera is crap. It, it only does good in, in good lighting, you know, terrible at low lighting situations. Granted, if I wanted to go to some sort of protest and stay safe and not worry about my good camera, but I could bring the good camera, I could go to a Trump rally and... Make sure I stay on the Trump side of the uh, boundaries or whatever. They don't seem to mind at all if you record them. And they're certainly not going to try to destroy your equipment. I mean, not even the Proud Boys go around trying to destroy everyone's equipment. If we're going to go there. So, anyway, have a joy, joy day.